What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are showcasing a brand new Pokemon to the channel. Have not showcased this Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet yet. We're going to be rocking out with Rabombi on the rank ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But Rabombi is a Pokemon that's actually rather strong, just not used that much on the rank ladder. It's got access to great support moves such as Tailwind, Palm Puff, Helping Hand, helping allied Pokemon in many different situations. You can heal them up, you can get some speed control, or you can make them do more damage by using Helping Hand on them. But the first Pokemon we're going to talk about in today's team preview starts off in the top left hand corner. It is going to be the boy Bax Cali Caliber. It's got Ice Shard, Icicle Spear, Scale Shot, High Horsepower, Rock and Thermal Exchange, and obviously with that move set, we're rocking the Loaded Dice as its item. We got the Dark and Fighting Urshfu in our second slot with Unseen Fist and the Dread Plate as its item. It's got Wicked Blow, Sucker Punch, Close Combat, and U Turn. In our third slot, we got the one and only Rabombi. Shield Dust is its ability to kind of keep it uh, from not getting secondary effects on other opposing Pokemon's moves. We got the Focus Ash, which doesn't die out in one shot. And it's got Dazzling Gleam, Palm Puff, Tailwind, and Helping Hand. In our fourth slot, we got Life Orb Brillaboom. Obviously, Grassy Surge is its ability with Grassy Glide, High Horsepower, Knock Off, and Fake Out for flinches. In our fifth slot, we got Old Reliable. We got Flash Fire, Grass Terror, Heat Train. It's got Assault Vest as an item to make it a bit more bulkier on the Special Defense side. Then it's got its normal moveset of Heat Wave, Flash Cannon, Earth Power, and Terra Blast. In our final slot, it's going to be our Weather Control Pokemon. It is going to be a Alolan Ninetales with Snow Warning and the Mental Herb as its item. It can pop a War Veil, it's got Blizzard, and then it's got Dazzling Gleam and Protect. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rent the code? It's that top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with Rabombi. First match on its way, and we're going up against, I believe, a team that we just showcased, right? Is this a team that I just showcased? I believe so. They got Heatran, they got Landorus in that uh, uh, incarnate form, and then they're rocking out with Farigaraph, Iron Bundle, Rillaboom, and Urshifu. So very strong team right here. We got to watch out for that. Landorus does some crazy damage with that sheer force ability, but we got two Ice-type Pokemon to actually get the vibe in here. They have no type of weather control, so we might just want to set the War Bell up, right? I think we might want to do that. So I'm going to go in with Nine Tails, and I'm also going to go in with Baxcalibur. Just to get the ice going. Ice Squad's going to be really lovely. And if he wants to go into Heatran, at that point, we have high horsepower to cover that. Pretty cool. I like it a lot. I definitely like it a lot. So I'm going to be bringing in both of them. And then in the back end, I'm probably just going to go Robum. And I'm also going to go Urshfu, right? We're not going to be bringing Rabombi here in Master 1. We're looking for a big fat W. So I like the Pokemon that we're bringing in here. We got some nice first turn priority Pokemon with Grass Guide and Sucker Punch. And then on top of that, if we could set up a War Bell, that'd be beautiful. That would be lovely. But we do have the Mental Herb. So if any Pokemon is rocking Taunt, maybe the Robum, we could kind of go into that. But I believe this Iron Bundle is rocking Encore, though. So that's something we might want to wa watch out for. We definitely might want to watch out for that. We'll see. We'll see. Because if they do lead that Pokemon, I pop a Warbell, I might just want to hard swap out so I don't get Encore. Everybody knows when you get Encore, it is one of the most annoying things ever because your Pokemon pretty much just can't do anything for three turns at that point if they Encore you into the right move. So they're going to end up going Landers and Urshfu. I, I love this thing. I love this lead. I love it. I'm in love with it. They do have the Poison Terror type, and I could make a hard read on it. I could definitely make a hard read on it, and I kind of want to. But first things first, we're going to set up this award bell. So I'll set up a award bell. I could go Icicle Spear. I could make the hard read and just say that he is going to go into the... Uh, that he is going to go into the... What's it called? The Poison Terror type. Or I could just Terrasilize in the ground and just... Oh, I, do, I might do it. I just might. I just might. I think I'm going to still Terrasilize you. I think that's our best bet. And you know what? I'm just going to stick with... Hmm. I'm just I'm just gonna stick with an icicle spear here. Actually, I'm gonna go for a scale shot. I'm still gonna terrasilize too. I'm still gonna terrasilize. So I'm gonna terrasilize here. We got the snow, so we got a nice little defensive boost here in the snow. But I am terrified of that Landers. Landers could be protecting here. I mean, I would either terrasilize or protect. I'd be terrified of any ice moves coming in here. 
And I knew I should have read it. It was pretty simple. He's going into Poison Terror type all day. Yeah. I should have went to the high horsepower there. That would have been gnarly. That would have been sweet. That would have been a great call for us. That would have been a beautiful call. But we're going into Scale Shot. And Scale Shot actually boosts our speed but lowers our defense. So if I get a speed boost here, I can outspeed all these Pokemon. Unless he's going for Sucker Punch next turn. Which could be annoying. And we actually end up landing it. So Scale Shot's going to be chunking up some damage. We got the loaded dice. And there's a crit, which is gorgeous. Give me some more of those. Give me some more of those crits. Can we get five? Yeah, we get all five shots. So all five Scale Shots coming out here. Getting off some nice damage. And I would believe a close combat is coming out here. But like I said, we lose the defense boost. In order to go into speed, and Sansir or Sansir Storm is going to come out here, which backs Caliber dodges. Beautiful. Lovely. Close Comet's going to fly, and he ends up just doubling down in Nine Tails. That's fine. That's totally fine. So at this point in the match, I think Blizzard's pretty standard, right? If you go for Sucker Punch, you're not going to be able to probably kill any of my Pokemon. Actually, maybe the backs Caliber with that defense drop. But still, we're in the snow, so we actually have a defense boost. I'm going to send a high horsepower over onto the... No. I knew I should have hard hard read it and just uh, went into a high horsepower turn one. That probably could have KO'd with, with his terror boost. But there's high horsepower this turn. Should be able to just absolutely rip into this thing, right? Get it on out of here. That's a massive turn for us. A massive turn. So we get rid of him. Nine tails. Never mind. Nothing about nine tails. I was going to say nine tails should be able to eat up whatever shot with the roar bell up, but they end up just turning off their console. What a hot start for today's video. Let's go hop into our second match and look to showcase Rabambi in that one. Great way to start off today's video. Trying to use Rabambi here in match number two, though. They got a pretty great meta team. They got same thing as us. They got nine tails alongside Bax Calibur. They also have Hisumi and Guja, which. I don't really like. I hate going up against Hisumi and Guja. It's just always be... There's just always a problem, right? But maybe actually going into a Pokemon like you with a guaranteed crit could really help us out. So I definitely want to bring in Urshfu somewhere along the lines. We could go Rabambi here for the lead, which is definitely a possibility, and I think I want to do that. And then on top of that, we could maybe just lead Heatran. I think Heatran gets off a lot of value, especially with the Grass Terror. So I'm going to go Heatran. I am going to bring... Do I want Ninetales in the back end? Probably not. If they go Aurora Bell, that's fine. We can kind of just like go get after that late. But I'm going to bring Bax Calibur in our ship. I think that's my best bet. I like this lead. Let's get after it. Let's look to grab this one here in match number two. And use Rebombi a little bit. Rebombi. Good old Rebombi. But I was going to bring Ninetales in the back end. I'm just going to hope that they don't bring Ninetales. But chances are they're bringing Ninetales. And if they lead Ninetales, I got Heatran on the field right here, right now. Which is massive. But then Bax Calibur potentially has high horsepower. Ooh, it's getting ugly. It's getting real ugly. It's getting real ugly. God dang, Bex Caliber. Such a good Pokemon. Especially with the dragon typing as well on the ice, so fire is neutral onto it. But we do have a steel move. We do have a steel move. But yo, Fanfy on the trainer card? Fanfy's an all time favorite of mine. I love Fanfy. I love, like, elephants are one of my favorite animals, so like, Fanfy's just where it's at. But he ends up going Gudra alongside with Ninetales. And I don't mind this too much. I mean, you might have Body Press. You just might have body press. Um, we already have somewhat speed. But I'm going to set up Tailwind for the rest of the squad. I could tear grass, but it's probably not my best bet. And I think I'm just going to launch Heat Wave. Maybe look for some burns here. Maybe just look for some burns. So, I'm going to try to get some speed cooking here. He's probably Assault Vest. So, we maybe should have just led... We should just let, uh... Instead of Rabambi, maybe just, like, Rillaboom. So, Aurora Belt, it's coming out here, right? No doubt my minor war bells get popped. We're gonna end up popping a tailwind. It's probably focus dash as well. And we're just gonna pop a heat. Heat wave coming in, double land. Any burns on these guys? Any burns? Any burns? No burns. And there's our war bell. So we gotta deal with the war bell for the rest of the match. Um hmm. Heavy Slams can come out here, and that's fine by me. Because we got the focus dash. And cool, they didn't set up a defense boost. So Sash comes out from her bombie. And I think from here, we might just help a hand, let Rabambi die out, and drop another heat wave. Right? Yeah, I can get down. Or I can just go helping hand, leave Ninetales on the field right now, and drop an Earth Power. Yeah, I like it. It has no defense boost right now. I know it has a War Bell, but still. Maybe, maybe we get a little lucky with a crit here. But yeah, I'm not really too worried about Ninetales, especially with Tailwind up. A back-end Pokemon or Heatran next turn can really just get thriving up against it. 
But I'm hoping it's just Rock and Heavy Slam. I would think it's Rock and Body Press as well. I would think that's an option. Which it might go into this turn. Or it might just try to set up the defense boost. Which I don't mind. Again, I have... I do have Urshi back in. A little bit of Urshi action. I don't mind. Earth Power's gonna get going here. And that's some nice damage. We like that damage. We like that damage. Moonblast's gonna connect here. And now what are you doing, Deidre? It's the real question. Shelter. So, okay. Take those defense boosts. We're gonna bring out Urshifu at this point. We can have those defense boosts. That's fine. That's cool. I don't mind it too much. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. And now we bring out Urshifu. So, Snow should be a couple more turns. I mean, even if we don't get back to Calibre out there in the snow, I feel like it still has some nice value. But now's the perfect time to actually bring out Urshifu and hit you with a crit. So, I'm gonna do that. And I'm going to combine it with a Heat Leap. So it'll be pretty good for us, right? Again, I know War Bell is out. Crits actually hit through War Bell. So this is one of the exact reasons why I brought Urshifu. And I'm hoping combining Wicked Blow with Heat Wave, we could just take out the Gudra. And at the same time, take out the Nine Tails at the same time. But there is definitely a possibility that Gudra might protect. But if he does protect, Urshifu still hits through. So Urshifu is just a great Pokemon to actually counter. Well, I should say Dark Urshifu is a great Pokemon to counter Gudra. Unless Gudra goes into like some weird Berry Terror type. I'd be so upset. <laughs> I'd be so upset. Nah, don't tell me. Don't you tell me you got Berry Terror on this Pokemon. Don't you tell me you got Berry Terror on this Pokemon. Can't make this up, right? Berry Terror is kind of common on Gudra, but come on, man. Now you're going into that. How much damage are we still doing with this? Yo, this is crazy. This is crazy. Give me a burn. Thank you. Thank you for the burn. That is absurd. It did that much damage. It did like negative six. Unbelievable. Body press comes out here. You're soaking. It did like the lowest amount of damage you could possibly ever do. No, that's bad. That's bad. That's some low damage. So burn's helping us out tremendously. Heat wave should be able to finish him off, right? Heat Wave should be able to finish off that Kuja. Where do I just go? I should just go, to be honest, I should just go uh, Flash Cannon in that slot. Flash Cannon will guarantee taking that thing out. And then just have Urshfu take care of this right slot with Tail went up. But did you guys see how little that Wicked Blow did? It did, like, so tiny. So, dude, it did uh, probably two damage. In all seriousness, it probably did two damage. Which is absurd. But from here, I am just gonna go Wicked Blow the slot, and I'm gonna Terrasilize at this point. Terrasilize and just Flash Cat in the slot, because I could see Gujra protecting here. I could see Gujra protecting. If it does, it's not that big of a deal. But at this point, I'm just gonna Terrasilize my Heat Train, especially with Dondozo on the field. I don't feel like kicking away Crash and dying. We're actually playing out this War Bell really well. That's why I didn't bring my Nine Tails. I just, I just figured with the Pokemon that we have, we can kind of just play around it. And he's not going to protect. So Wicked Blow is going to do some solid damage here. Flash Cannon is going to finish off the Gujra so we can get rid of that, which is massive. And the burn was massive too, making that Body Press not do that much damage. Body Press would have probably came close to killing. And hopefully you're just going for a Wave Crash into the slot. No, you're going to yawn. So at this point, probably a solid turn just you turn away, right? Yeah, like it. U turn's gonna be solid. You don't have Tatsugiri to go into. And your final Pokemon is going to be Max Caliber. So I have one of those of my own, which is beautiful. So at this point, I'm just gonna U turn out. I'm gonna U turn into the Max Caliber. I'm just gonna Terra Blast into the uh, Dondozo. I'm not too worried about Max Caliber. I get it has its ice moves. Are you gonna protect the Dondozo? He's going to protect somebody, I think. But I'm just trying to U-turn pivot so my uh, Urshifu doesn't go to sleep here. And plus, I think Snow's still going. Yep. And both these guys are physical attackers. So when I swap into my back caliber, if any of them are going to hit me, I have like a nice little defense boost because of the weather and the typing. So that actually works out perfect to swap now. U-turn's going to come out here. Did that much damage. Can't complain about it. And we're swapping. Swapping into the backseat. 
But actually, my heat trap might go down here. Because Max Caliber might outspeed, yeah. But I'm going to die out to this. So I die out to this, which, I mean, isn't too bad. I think I should still be able to kind of clean up this mess that we're in. He's gonna yawn. He's gonna double. Wow. The double yawn into the slot. Very smart play. Very smart play. Snow's gone. Snow is gone. They get to bring back up. So now, what are the chances that you protect? I think I'd rather try a scale shot you, to be honest. Um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for a scale shot here. And I'm just gonna, just gonna click Wicked Blow here. Because if my back, my back is pretty fast. So if we could just outspeed and get rid of him, we can pretty much set up for victory here. Of course, you got the berry as well. But don't those are just being a little annoying here. Can you outspeed Baxi? You do. That should KO. That should KO, I think. Oh, it's gonna come close. We might need a fifth hit here. Come on, give me the five. We need a fifth hit. We need a fifth hit. No, we get four. We get four. So upsetting. So now my defense drops. I do get a speed boost, but I'm going to sleep next turn because of the yawn. Blave Rush is now going to cook here. And are you doubling down? Ouch, man. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Rough battle to lose here. Such a rough battle to lose here. The roughest of battles. And actually, if that Bax Caliber would have outsped us, that would have been even better. Because when you use Glaive Rush, your income and damage is now doubled. And we would have KO'd with Scale Shot. But yeah, it's pretty much going to be game. He's going to Glaive Rush us again. And that wraps it up. Wow, what a solid second match, though. Solid all around. We got to use Rabombi a little bit. We're now 1-1. One one. Let's go hop to our third. Look for that winning record. Final match is on its way. We'd love to grab ourselves a winning record here and use Rabambi again. So you know what? I'm just going to lead Rabambi regardless of who they have. And I see what they got right now. They got the Fire Ogre Pond squad. Pretty meta here. Pretty tough squad. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a win here. But um, something I do notice is they have no weather control. So again, a pretty simple, maybe a War Bell can come out here. But I don't really want to do that. I'm tired of doing the same old thing. Popping War Bell and kind of going from there. So, you know, we're going to go Rabambi alongside with maybe Heatran. I think Heatran could be pretty solid here, especially with the best. Um, do you have a Protector Bombi? I don't think you do. You don't. That could be a little rough. That could be a little rough. But, um, hmm. Huh. Could go Heatran. I could go Robum. I might go Robum just for a nice little fake out user. I do like that a lot. So I'm going to go in with Robum. I'm going to go Rabombi. Got to go Urshifu in the back end. And then last but not least, can't go wrong with Heatran, right? Cannot go wrong with Heatran, so that's going to be the play. We're locking it in. Tired of using a War Bell. I do that a lot. I mean, everybody does that a lot, but obviously I could. This could probably be an easy win if I just go back Excalibur, uh, Nine Tails, like we did match number one, pop the War Bell, just start going from there, right? I could probably win this one pretty easy, but hey, I'm here for some, I'm here for some nice fun content. We're going to end up leading Milo Milo alongside with Iron Hand. So from here, I just feel like the fake out of the Iron Hand is probably the best play. They might hard swap the Milotic or protect it. And I think we just gleam on top of that. Chip up some damage, fake out the Iron Hands. Not dealing with it. Not dealing with him faking me out, so I'd rather fake him out. And again, Milo could protect, it could Terra, especially with Robin on the field. The only thing that sucks about having Robin Life Orb is whenever we use a uh, a fake out, we lose, we lose, we usually lose more damage than we output. Like, look at the damage that we output, and then we lose pretty much the same amount. So it's like, ah, that's a little rough. So he ends up just leaving Milo on the field, which is pretty crazy. We get a crit onto that, that Pokemon. He's going to end up coiling up here. Um, at this point, do we help you hang Grass Guide? We could. Could definitely help you hang Grass Guide. We already have speed, so... I'm curious to see what kind of typing this thing has, or terror type, because it's probably going to pop it, right? But I'm still just going to go help a hand grass guide. Yeah, especially with the orb. Pretty good for us. So helping hand, grass guide, send it the Milotic's way. It's probably going to Rasalize. I'm super surprised it didn't terror last turn. And it's probably because it had fake out going into my roll boom slot. But look at Rabambi's little arms and legs. 
<laughs> you could probably just grab him and just like pull him off. Just, just pull him off real quick. Just a little, little pop sound. Pop. <laughs> just right off. <laughs> it's so funny. Good old Rabombi. I love Rabombi's design. It ends up withdrawing the Iron Hands. Okay. I understand. And you're gonna go into this guy. This guy. And no Terra comes out here, so probably bye bye to you, even with the defense boost. Luck, yo, so lucky. Are you gonna put me to sleep? I'm gonna be so upset. Hey, coil again, which is more than okay. It's more than okay. So massive coils come out here. Um Ogre Pond's looking scary, so I might just try to slice my roll boom. Kind of go from there. Can a gleam take him out? It might be able to. Can a gleam take you out? What does more damage? Palm puff would. We're gonna try to palm puff KO here. We're going for it. And I'm gonna terrasize you in the straight fire. And I could take off your item, but can you take off the mask? Is that a thing? I don't think it is. But we're gonna drop high horsepower just in case he wants to put the mask on and go full fire type. But I like terrasizing. Uh. I like the terrestrialization of Robin here. And actually, I should have popped the Tailwind more so than anything. I should definitely pop the Tailwind. But we could probably do that next turn, because what I think they're going to do is definitely protect Milotic here. Or just withdraw it, so waste of turns there. And uh, go for the IV Cudgel into the Robin slot. Are you going back into Iron Hands? Iron Hands is going to come out here. The Iron Hands coming out here. They're not terrestrializing the Ogrepine. High horsepower should still do. A decent chunk of damage, especially with Life Orb on. And Palm Puff is just gonna fly here and uh, hit up on Iron Hands. <laughs> so there's the Ivy Cudgel. And that's good terror from us. A nice little terror type from us. High horsepower can come in here. Go really well. And at this point, you definitely wanna set up that Tailwind. So I'm gonna Tailwind up here. Um, if they fake out Roll Boom. And that's fine. Not that big of a deal. But I'm definitely, I definitely want some speed here, so. I'm gonna go after Ogre Pond again. So there's Fake Out into Roll Boom. Can you take me out with another Ivy Cudgel? That's gonna be kind of close. But we got some speed for four more turns, which is gonna probably be most of the match. Roll Boom with Flinch, Ivy Cudgel coming in hot again, and. Cool, you're going after Rabombi. I got Sash. I got Sash, so I'm staying in here, baby. I'm staying in here. So we got some speed here, and honestly, I'm just gonna pile and puff Roboom up. Give this man some more HP. I'm just gonna give this man some more HP, and I'm gonna take out the Iron Hands. Because there's a hot shot that you could just spiky shield here, and I'm gonna look to just take out you. Get some HP back. Oh, we love it. We love it. Go ahead, spiky shield that over. I'm reading now. I'm opening my book. This one says, this turn, our opponent's going to pop a spike shield with Ogre Pond, and Gene's going to heal up his roll boom and KO the Iron Hands at the same time. That's exactly what it says. He's spike your shield. I know that for a fact. Watch. Everybody pay attention here. Pay attention. Stop looking at any other things. This guy's spike your shield. This guy's spike your shield. Wait a second. That's Iron Hands. Wait a second. Are you Grass Terror? You're, that works just fine. As we're still super effective, but... Wait a second. Here comes Spike Shield. Reddit, Chapter 4. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's way too easy. And what else did I say is going to happen? Robombi's going to heal up the Rillaboom. Rillaboom's going to high horsepower. He's going to take out hot Iron Hands. The only thing I didn't read was that Iron Hands was going to Thrasilize. It wasn't in the book. It must have been in the movies. It must have been in the movies. But, yo, look at that. Come on, man. Don't make me read you this hard. That, that was way too easy to read. So now I got Roboom pretty much back up to full health. Rabombi chilling, getting some turns. And this is Rabombi in its prime right now. Absolutely lighting it up. And now at this point, we helping hand high horsepower the Ogre Pond. And that should be enough damage to actually KO that thing. I think they're going to bring back out Milo now that the grass attorney is gone, which is not that big of a deal. Milo is pretty low on HP. 
and I'd rather get rid of the Ogre Pond. But yo, Verbombi's thriving out here in this match. Absolutely killing it. Look at his little wings. Verbombi, baby! I love this Pokemon. I love it so much. But they actually end up going into Fluttermane, which is fine. We should have two turns left in Tailwind. It's beautiful. And yeah, at this point, it's just a helping hand into a high horsepower to get rid of the Ogre Pond. That's massive. I'm not really too worried about Fluttermane. Especially because they just wasted their Terra as well. I got Urshifu back in. Big time plays. Big time plays. So Rillaboom and Rabami just kind of doing their thing here in match number three. Taking control of this match. Our opponent's in shambles right now. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. Rabami's doing it all. Pollen Puff healing. Helping hand for damage output. Tailwind setting up. We got it all. We got it all. We got it all. He ends up going into a follow me, which is totally fine. I was going after you regardless, so that's just a waste of a turn. And you're gone. Get him on Addy. Rabami with the big time helping hand. Probably Dazzle Gleam comes out here, chunk up some damage onto Rillaboom and KO the Rabambi at the same time. Yeah, that's fine. Rabambi, rest easy, babe girl. You're gone. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for setting up the squad for a chance of victory. Appreciate. Always appreciate your Rabambis. But from here, actually, he, I forgot we had Heat Train. I'm just gonna bring out Heat Train. Totally the best bet. We're gonna bring out Milotic. We can still Grass Guide into that slot. We just won't have first up priority. But we still have Tailwind Speed. And then we'll Flash Cannon with the other one. Come on, man. That's way too easy. They don't have Terror type either. Come on, man. Way too easy. Just cancel the battle. They know it's over. They're sitting here like, by golly, this one's this one's wraps. Unless I mean double protect. We set the last turn to Tailwind. Get some speed, but at that point, Milotic's still probably slower. And I don't see Fluttermane having any move to KO my Heatran, and then Heatran can still just KO with the with the evil flash cannon. Love it. Loving it. Grace Glide, they don't protect. Get it all one out of here. Fluttermane might be able to outspeed Heatran and Tailwind. Maybe, depending on the stats. But I hope not. I simply hope not. And you don't. So this should probably KO. Nice little stab. Super effective. Leaves it on three. Two, three. Probably two. Hurts soul. And then they, they go for Dazzle Gleam, which is doing nothing. It's doing nothing. It's doing nothing. So another Flash Cannon comes out here. Nice little Grassy Glide. Cancel the battle. They don't. They want to KO my Rillaboom. How dare you? And my Rillaboom survives. <laughs> it survives. So here comes the Grass Glide. Now that's game set match. 2-1 winning record with this Rabami team on the rank ladder. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. A 2-1 winning record showcasing Rabambi on the channel in Scarlet and Violet. Absolutely love this team. Love Rabambi, especially in that third and final battle where we fully showcase it to its fullest potential. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.